Hi YouTube, this is Ken Hill with Gun Scare and Freedom. Uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, the types of malfunctions that can happen in a handgun, uh, particularly the semi-automatic uh, slide type handguns, not the revolver type handguns. Um, I'm going to cover a couple of different malfunctions, what can go wrong, and how to fix them. Stay tuned. The first kind of malfunction that I'd like to talk about is the jam. And no, I don't mean the kind that you put on your toast. I mean the kind that when you fire your gun, it goes bang and nothing comes out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but inside this gun is, hopefully I'm not pointing that on my face, uh, there is a spent casing that did not eject. It's down in there. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, uh, but it's in there. And uh, basically, the only way that you can uh, get that gone uh, is to pretty much uh, try to rack your slide. There it came out. That that one uh, comes out. Sometimes not. They're usually caused by spent casings uh, just not ejecting. They're just usually still stuck in the chamber. Uh, try to rack it a few times you know, and clear it uh, and uh, that should do it for jams. The next type of malfunction that we have is the stovepipe. Uh, the stovepipe looks something like this where the uh, round usually or the spit casing uh, is caught inside the action of the slide right there and uh, the way I clear uh, a stovepipe if you run into them is we just rack the slide and there it is and that covers it for stovepipes the next type of malfunction that we have is called the double feed and uh, it looks a little bit something like uh, that where you uh, have one still stuck in there uh, or uh, it didn't feed right or the magazine dumped two of them at one time. Uh, usually uh, two rounds try to chamber at the same time. Uh, they're fairly rare malfunction um, but they're just pretty easy to clear. You first basically take your gun, pull the slide back, drop the magazine out, the round will fall out of the bottom. Uh, and then you can put your magazine back in and you're ready to go. Um, and that's how I clear a double feed. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, failure to extract. It's different than uh, failure to feed, which we'll cover in a second. Um, failure to feed uh, or failure to feed, uh, it usually occurs uh, for several different reasons. Uh, sometimes the gun magazine doesn't maintain a proper uh, spring tension. Uh, sometimes uh, outside forces like dirt, uh, debris of any kind really, uh, failure to clean your magazine uh, can cause uh, the magazine to stop functioning and when that happens you can get a failure to feed uh, around will not chamber uh, and all you have to do to clear a failure to feed just in case it's spring tension or something else is you want to firmly uh, tap your bottom of your magazine so you give it one good one and you rack the slide and uh, that should clear it. In fact, it did. So yeah, that's how you f clear the failure to feed. Uh, the next one I want to talk to you about is the failure to extract. Uh, the last malfunction I would like to cover is the failure to extract a spent cartridge from the gun. Um, as you can see again with the lighting, there is a cartridge still in the gun uh, that did not extract. I will show you how you can get that out of there or maybe what even causes it. Uh, first I'm going to actually uh, try to rack the slide again just to see if it will come out. In this case it did. Uh, if yours doesn't there may be internal damage to your firearm and your extractor may be broken and it might be time to replace it. Uh, simple cleaning sometimes can uh, fix failure to extract issues. Um, I'm going to show you the extractor. I'm going to field strip this really quick and uh, show you the actual extractor. Some people don't even know what I'm talking about, so I would like to show you. Um, give me two seconds to get this apart. Um, right in here, that little guy right there is an extractor, and it basically grabs the uh, round. It, it clasps onto a round. And I don't know if I can show that or not. Give me a second, and I will try to show you how that it, how that actually works. It actually grabs a little hook, and it grabs it 
like that. Uh, and if it if it gets broken or uh, it's dirty, maybe it won't uh, extract around, and then you'll have a problem. So those are the types of malfunctions that uh, I currently know about and practice to uh, clear. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll practice and know your gun, and uh, you'll be able to clear them too. Uh, if this video was informative for you, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video.